think if I was to start with stress, I think the important part is to understand our physiology and what we've been wired and what we've been designed for. We have a mismatch now between our genetics and our phys physiology compared to the culture and society we live in. Okay, So we're hardwired to survive. So um, our, our, our physiology, our brains and our bodies still react and respond in the same way we would have done two million years ago. So um, let's say that you have a trigger. You know, I've spoken a lot about triggers and they're one of the causes of our stress uh, and how we manage those triggers. Um, let's just say that you've got an email that's come in, okay, and it says urgent on it, and it's on a Friday afternoon and you want to get away from the weekend. What happens then in the body is um, you have a physiological response. It's called the fight, flight, freeze response. You might start getting blood pumping through your body. You might produce adrenaline and cortisol. It might move away from your brain because you're getting ready to fight, maybe fight your boss and go, no, I don't want to do this. Or you want to run away, or you might freeze or panic. Now that was very, very useful 100,000, two million years ago when there was a saber-toothed tiger in the bushes. Um, but nowadays we're getting all these types of triggers all the time, so we might not get them so same survival triggers, but we're having so many of the little triggers um, that it's important for us to understand how do we adapt and evolve to the culture and society we live in now. Bearing in mind our physiology is designed for something very, very different. Um, I often talk about, you know, we're not hardwired for happiness. You know, we're hardwired to constantly look at things that are going to go wrong in our lives. You know, our brains have evolved to go, okay, that's going wrong, let's do something about it. Um, but the great thing is, and what we're seeing through neuroscience now, is actually we can start changing our brains through something called neuroplasticity. We can start changing the way we adapt. We can start changing the way we respond to certain situations and stresses.